Take a shower in the morning. Um, after your shower, degree. This is called degree. This is called deodorant. This is something you need to put on every day. Okay, not when you feel like it. And then if you're sick, drink a lot of OJ. And then I thought you were about to say drink a lot of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Just guzzle this hand sanitizer. You'll get so screwed up. And pretty soon, Guy Fieri and Smash won't seem so crazy. But here we go. Now, that's a flavorful sauce that'll take you right to Flavortown. I Damn love putting hand sanitizer son. on my burgers. Anyway, <laughs> Jack, not going with his Falcon right now. He does have a peach. This is this is who he likes to go. Uh, this is, oh, that's who this is. This is why do the, why do bad things happen to good people. That's, 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 his, that's his whole tag. All I'm right. not, not kidding. See right there? This is Twitter. W-D-P-T-H-T-G-P. -T -T why do good things? Why do bad things happen to good people? It's a shame. I don't, I don't, maybe I don't because know, we go through stuff like this. Yeah. Possibly. Or maybe uh, you air dodge off the level, unfortunately. Not doing... That's how they change the uppy. I forget. Like, me, uh, me Brawler can control the second part. Like, they don't have to do it anymore. It's not like in Sonora's uppy where, like, you have to go down. I forget. Oh, and here's really a little percent. bit. Here's a handbreaker combo. It... Dude, that... Having played Peach for about 30 seconds at home and trying to pull off some of these combos, it is incredibly difficult. Yeah, so. for sure. It's not an easy thing to do. I mean, at the very least, it's not an easy thing on your hands, for sure. It reminds me of, like, Melee Fox combos pretty much, you know, like the wave giant oh. and everything. The run-up up smash. Run-up Fox up smash, basically. Guy Fieri sending Peach above and beyond Flavor Town with that one. Okay, good. I'll be out of neutral. We see a lot of Chrome players do that all the time, actually, to just reset the situation. Gonna do it again. Racks up a lot of damage. Not as much damage as it, as it potentially could, but already up to 44%. Um, I think the key here is being able to stay on stage, being able to play to his advantage more towards center stage, more on these platforms, um, because off stage against Peach is rough, no matter yeah. what character you're playing. Definitely not a fun place to be in right now. Ooh, and the turn up turn actually, actually screwed him up. Around. Yeah, I don't know if he, I think he tried to set up like a tech chase situation for that, like he tried to chase him where he was going to go, but uh, why do bad things happen to good people? Was ready to tech that immediately, but he wasn't ready to survive that attack right there, and he's already down to his last stock against Jack, trying to cheese him with that be right here, but here we go, here come the peach combos, that damage multiplied out of the float, uh, cancel short hops right there, Already of course. Up to 47%, that was four moves. Yeah. Because as we all know, you know, Peach, you do more damage in this game off of a short hop with your aerials, oh, and there goes Jack. He was a little too off. worried about the shot put than he was about getting back to the ledge, and that's going to cost him the very, very early percent kill here. Let's see what Guy Fieri can do. Well, we went for another clothesline there. That's a very, very powerful move, as I've discovered in the past couple of minutes. If he can get a couple of those working for him, rack up a little bit more damage, um, then he can force Peach to sort of come in a little bit. He's able to be able to make it back here, though. Oh, this is rough here. Okay, back to center stage. Up B. Resetting neutral again. He's trying to set up a nair to a back air. Jack Dion away, not giving it to him. Forward air reset to get him off, and he's still got his jump. Oh, he caught it. Yeah. That was a rough position to be in. I guess me Brawler's air dodge doesn't exactly send him that far. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's like with no jump right there, like an up he was not going to be able to do anything with all of that lag, ladies and gentlemen. Jack taking advantage of that and uh, sealing out game one because yeah. of Yeah. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff to Jack there. But, um, you know, one thing we saw why do bad things happen to good people do um, is was he didn't allow Jack to do exactly what he wanted to do offstage. I know he lost that game, but we didn't see Peach really take dominance off the ledge like she usually does. She didn't hang out by the ledge. She she respected Guy Fieri. As funny as that sounds, um, Jack is going to have to do something a little bit different. He can't rely on some of those uh, some of those gift stocks uh, in the second and third games if it decides to go to third game. But, um... It's going to be interesting to see. Maybe Jack adjusts a little bit. Maybe he plays a little bit better on the ledge. Um, and maybe Guy Fieri spaces out a little bit better and continues his advantage on stage. Or maybe we send this to a game three. I'm excited to see how this works out. Mm. See both characters just kind of throwing out uh, throwing out aerials here. A little up air string here looking like Mario. It's a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's Smash 4 for sure. I mean, me, Brawler. It was definitely, essentially, just like the poor man's Mario. It was like a worse version of the character, because the character did the same things, they just weren't as consistent. And in this game, sort of similar, except with a couple of buffs here and there, such as on the uppy and the new command grab, Suplex, as well. That's very Shout nice. out to that Suplex cool City, too. man. I love that he's using that for there. And the up smash out of shield, of course, going to do it. A very strong up smash. Pretty much Fox's up smash. Literally just copy-pasted on another character. Is going to do it for why do bad things happen to good people. Going up a full stock against Jack right now, who is still off stage right now, but is able to get on with a roll. But uh, why do bad things? Still keeping him a disadvantage. 
Stone. And what we've seen, you know, in addition to that dash attack, we've seen Why Do Bad Things Happen to Good People utilize utilize neutral air right there in a much more efficient way. Catching Peach out of the air, not allowing Peach to sort of do what she wants to do in the air, forcing her back to the ground where she hasn't been able to string together some of those down tilt combos that we saw her do. Game one, and we're going to see another forward smash again. This is exactly what we're talking about. Keeping Peach on the ground and not in the air. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's it's a hard thing to do because, you know, Peach, like, even when she's just, like, hanging low on the, uh, that uh, command grab is going to be able to do it right there, not, maybe, uh, not able to make it back to ledge. It's, um, it's rough because, you know, when Peach is just floating right above the ground like that, it's, she's able to start her combos and just bob and weave in and out, you know, to try and bait out your, uh, to try and bait out your attacks. A lot of Peaches love to do that because, obviously, you know, float is a special trait that only Peach and Daisy in this game have and no other character does. And with that, she can just uh, chill back, float a little bit, and try and bait, uh, try and bait you to, like, whiff and throw out a button right there and then just lean back and then rise back forward with a forward air. Peach players love to punish impatience. They yeah. love impatient players. Oh. And why do bad things? It's being very patient right there. He knows that the drive to Flavortown is long, but, you know, like, it's, it's definitely a worthwhile trip. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey, man. Exactly. Oh, wow. Beautiful recovery there. Jack just doesn't have an answer yet. He, was, he went for a grab there. He yeah. tried to go for a grab there and just missed. He actually had the situation right there, but I think he just hesitated for a little bit or he messed up his input or something. Mayhaps he just got scared, but either way, he didn't wind up losing his stock for it either. He's still in a very good position. Never mind, the back air is going to be able to do it right here. Still in a good position, you know, 142% on Jack right now. You know, uh, Guy Fieri can pretty much, you know, blow on uh, Peach right now or like just drop a hot lasagna on her or something, you know, like at the venue. But Up Smash is going to be able to do it right there. A JB2. Guy Fieri evening out the set against Peach right now. 1 1. Never knew Guy Fieri was so nimble. You wouldn't think so by looking at him. Exactly, you know? You wouldn't think he would could do a triple half gainer off of the uh, off of the stage. <laughs> you wouldn't but think so, dude. You wouldn't think so, but uh, why do bad things happen to good people? Um, taking a pretty much a commanding second game, like we mentioned before, not allowing Peach to do what she wanted to do. Um, not able to string together a lot of those down tilt combos. And um, continuing the theme of game one, of uh, um, Jack really hasn't been able to get anything done on the ledge, which is where Peach really excels. Uh, are we going to see the can? No, I don't think there is a can, but he is resetting his controller right now, trying to save those inputs. He's hovering. Are we seeing the Falcon? No, we are not. He's asking what stage that they're going to right now, having a little bit of a discussion about it. And the Peach is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're going for. Here we go. Peach going up against the man, the myth, the legend. Town and city is the pick. You're going to be seeing both of these uh, both of these characters living a little bit longer. Flavor town and city. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, up here. Up be resetting neutral again. We've seen him do that several times, and he's been able to turn the situation back into his favor because of it. Um, that's something else Jack is going to have to figure out. He's been able to do that a bunch and just string together a bunch of these uppers as well. You know, despite the score, I, it really feels like why do bad things happen to good people? It's just had an advantage over, over you know, this character. Mm, absolutely. Now, ooh, what a clutch air dodge forward, actually, for Jack to avoid the shot put right there. Definitely would have put him in a worse position than getting grabbed. But that one would have hit two if the uppy hadn't have gone through it. My goodness. Why do bad things? This onslaught right now. Oh, but he's going with the gimmick. Nice. Some, something he wasn't able to do last game. He's going to have to pull off a couple more of those if he wants to bring it back against Guy Fieri. That is not going to help. That is... Maybe the fourth or fifth time he's just sat and chilled, waited for Jack to attack, and punished with an up smash. Jack needs to be a little more careful on some of these uh, some of these anxious attacks here. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to be uh, whiffing buttons against this Peach right now. Jack, he's just got to he's got to he's got to dig deep. You know, if he wants to be able to bring this back. So far, why do bad things? His adaptation has been immaculate against pretty, Jack right now. Pretty much. He's able to clutch out these games. Not even clutch out these games. You know, he took game two pretty solidly. Down to his last stock, but you know, like he was just sitting uh, very pretty at a zero, you know. It only makes me think what these guys are going to be able to do in this game. And so far, why do bad things seems to be the one in the advantage right now. Because uh, almost having Jack loop him in her sense. We've seen uh, Why Do Bad Things sort of start to zone out with these shot puts a little bit more. He's at a stock advantage, and now he's at a percent advantage. He can afford to lay back a little bit, force Jack to make a mistake. It's been working out for him so far. Offstage, though, let's see what Jack does to edge guard. And again, another situation where Jack had the opportunity to do something, and it just didn't happen. 
There's the shot put tossing off again. Essentially the uh, two -y. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that the forwarder didn't kill there. I don't believe Jack can either. Yeah. Essentially the two -y of uh, me Brawler's kick, which is pretty much what that move is. They're both very similar. Anyway, Jack finally able to take the stock right now. All it'll take is one little peach string right here, but able to drop it, actually. The rage may be a little too high, like increasing the knockback right yeah. there, making that combo a little bit harder to do, because those combos are already precise enough as they are, you know? And That's with uh, added rage, you know, with the knockback's a little higher, with peach, you never know. It might be just a little too much for you to be able to do it, and uh, Jack is actually going to wind up losing his stock because of that in a very, very bad position, both in terms of percent and in uh, messing up his combos right there. And why do bad things, of course, is going to take that all the way to the bank. Get off stage again. Got Fury in a bad position. Oh, another missed opportunity for Jack, though. I feel like he could have done a little bit more there. He could have dropped down with a neutral. I feel like that would have been a better option. Yeah, man. The heartburn is definitely, like, the heartburn from this double bacon cheeseburger is definitely starting to take its toll on our main guy right now. The percent is tacking on. And there you go. There you go. I was going to make a really bad joke just now, but I didn't. Anyway, you know, you're good. last you're good, game, man. last stock. 51% of extra credit here, you know, he doesn't have to... Ooh, you don't be out with the stuff this ain't Smash 4, you can't run through. You can't run through the shields anymore to go for those uh, cross-up, uh, those pivot grabs, my friend. They're not as prominent anymore. But Jack, of course, 100% differential between these players right now. Why do bad things is doing such a good job, but he gets touched once. He gets touched once, eats about 44. Jack is going to need one or two more of those. And he wants to be able to bring this back, especially with that up B out of the shield. My goodness, Jack. Yeah, Jack is probably going to kill it here. Also, such a lightweight. Oh. Bab. Oh, no, he's going to go for a down throw. Off stage again. Air. He's very, very dangerous, but he's using his recovery options to make it back to center stage, which is exactly where he wants to be. Here we go, the uppy. Sure, hop back here. He's probably going to kill here. Ledge. Oh, man. Jack needs, to be, Jack needs to play immaculately here. Yeah. Absolutely. Crossing it up on the shield right there is Guy Fieri. And there's a down tilt to the forward air attack. You know, that oh! good mini damage getting punched right in the Guy Fieri face. Clutching that out is Jack. My goodness. That, yes. that was something. He, he brought that back from the depths of hell. He yes, just forward he air. Definitely one of the game's biggest how did that hit me moves yeah. for sure. And right there, it made sense how it hit him. It hit him right with the yeah, sun. That, that was a.